Hello everyone, this is Giovanni Lyon from Hong Kong Polytechnic University and the topic of my research is concept formation in computational creativity. I will start by addressing the fundamental assumption of my research, that is, evaluation of creativity is fundamentally subject to a human bias. That is, we will be the one to judge whether something is creative or not. Therefore, when we talk about non-human creativity, it is irrelevant whether the artifact has been produced by a human or not, as long as we regarded as creative. Another fundamental assumption in computational creativity, at least up until a decade ago, was that parts of the human creative process would need to be simulated. Well, in the last decade of, of uh, achievements in deep learning and generative deep learning in particular have shown that perhaps um, this simulation is not needed or we can get results um, even without trying to simulate human, because of course neural networks aren't really a simulation of uh, the human brain. Um, so what are we talking about? Generative deep learning, uh, tools such as autoencoders, generic, uh, generative adversarial networks, and, and transformers. So what exactly do these neural networks learn? Because of course they learn from large data sets and they would naturally learn the biases of these data sets. Uh, we don't know exactly how this information is stored. There is no way for uh, this network to uh, do any symbolic reasoning. And, and also it's hard to transfer knowledge from one network to another. And so this, this questions brought me uh, to, to, to dig deeper into what concepts actually are. And, and so I went into the literature review um, looking at concept ontologies, that is theories of concepts um, that are able to describe phenomena related to concepts. Uh, turns out the last <coughs> 60 years uh, of research in this field has, has produced up to even five big categories of theories. Uh, the main one being classical theory and uh, a big opponent that uh, in the 70s was uh, prototype theory, which stemmed from psychological uh, ex uh, experimental psychology research. So classical theory of concepts rests on definitions, but definitions have a problem, which was identified actually uh, dates back to Plato. Um, that is as simply as that we cannot really find clear definitions for high level concepts such as knowledge, justice, and goodness, and uh, even more mundane concepts such as bold are very hard to really strictly define. So creativity and design, I believe, belong to this category and definitions for those uh, will always be hard to find uh, if we're trying to find for a very strict and clear one. Another aspect of concepts that is that is key is compositionality. That is, for example, in the sentence, you understand uh, the meaning of the sentence because of the parts, so because of the words and what they mean, but also because of how they're uh, connected with each other and, and the order in which uh, the words appear in the sentence. And um, that is, that is uh, a fundamental aspect that still hasn't been explained. So in my research, I'm addressing the following research questions. First of all, I'm trying to understand which concept ontologies fit the current GDL trend. And the second is about compositionality. So whether this aspect of compositionality can be implemented and is, is, is relevant or is missing right now. Um, as an output, I would like to create a tool for generating uh, creative artifacts in multiple domains. So that is music, language, and uh, images. So for my studies, I will be addressing each domain separately. And currently I'm, work, I'm involved in the music domain with the local composer. Her name is Vicky Fong. She has composed over 40 songs in the canto pop scene here in Hong Kong. And, she, and we're, we're looking at using transformers and VAEs to generate more music like her. The second study will be a language and I'm involved with Hansel Robotics and SingularityNet uh, working on the robot Grace. Um, the third study will be on images, but it's yet, uh, yet to be defined. Um, thank you so much for your attention and looking forward to your questions and your comments. And thank you very much.